Uh, great weekend to get out yeah. and about. Uh, a lot of people want to get out and check out the water, where yeah. supposedly there are some places where we have some. We still have some water in the reservoirs, believe it or not. We're going to take you to one of those spots right now. The Jordan now, this is just above uh, from Bald Mountain. What, 12,000 feet at the summit looking down? US 40 there, right along the line, the edge of the reservoir. Uh, latest capacity I saw uh, level right now at about 69%. So, yeah, 69% of, of, of where, what it should be. So, there we go. We need water, more of it. We are getting a little bit of water falling from the sky right now over northeastern Utah. Looks like just northeast or northwest, rather, of Duchesne. We have, we've had some thunderstorm activity, potentially uh, some hail, certainly some lightning as these storms move off towards the northeast. This will be the focal point again tomorrow, we'll seeing more showers and thunderstorms. Uh, most of Utah will be dry. We have an area of low pressure. It's been circling just south of uh, Las Vegas, throwing up some moisture our way, some clouds, some big old showers popping up just north of Ely. That will try to make a beeline for Windover. So heads up, you could get a little of that, probably more wind than anything, but it's out there and it's trying to come your way. Northern Utah, at least the Was Wasatch Front, were dry. We'll call it partly to mostly cloudy, depending where you're at, and that's the way it's going to stay most of the night. It's, as uh, these clouds kind of settle in for a while. Temperatures overnight, we're down in the mid-50s in Salt Lake City. St. George, you're low tonight, down to around 64. We have isolated showers and thunderstorms, mainly over the high country of Utah, specifically the northeastern corner, and certainly scattered showers and thunderstorms this evening over central Nevada. So drive along. Between Elko and Ely, yeah, you may encounter some of that storminess. Tomorrow, we're up to 76 over in uh, Ely, 81 for high in Elko, 79 in Salt Lake City, 78 in Provo. So most of us, at least in northern Utah, will stay out of the 80s for about a day or so. Almost 70 over in Park City. Could see some showers and thunderstorms around Vernal. Your precipitation forecast will set in motion, obviously dry in the morning like it usually is. And then we get the daytime heating. Look at that little peak there. Some rain and snow over the Uintas. Of course, none of that in the seven-day forecast for southern Utah. Just hot. We're well into the 90s by Tuesday, 98. Oh, and that's not hot enough for you? How about Wednesday? 102. We'll call that very hot. And then we'll back off just a tiny bit Friday and Saturday. Some extra clouds will skirt across the sky with temperatures finishing off the work week and go into the weekend in the mid to upper 90s. Northern Utah, Wasatch Front. Okay, we can take another day in the 70s. Memorial Day, a little warmer, 82, and well into the 80s on Tuesday, up to about 86 degrees. And then here comes our hot. Wednesday, first 90-degree day of the year, and then even hotter on Thursday, that 96, you see, will be a record breaker.